market access, I mean, how you find the commission editors, how you find the salespeople, um, it, it's kind of obscure if you're based in Durban. Um, you know, it's, it's not just down the road, you can't just pop down and speak to someone. Again, a big gap, the fact that there's insufficient amounts of work to sustain careers or absorb trainings into the sector. There is a need for some skills development. Um, most people I've spoken to have said, no, no, we have all of the skills we need in Durban, we just can't keep them. Um, but, I'm, you know, there's, from a needs perspective, there's always a demand for training. Um, Undeveloped networks, the fact that we haven't taken that 10 million people with KZN and turned it into a, an audience for KZN films is a, is a problem, or is a gap that can be exploited. Competitive infrastructure, and when I'm talking about competitive infrastructure, for instance, we're looking at things like, if we waive the film permit fees in Cape Town so that it didn't cost you to film on the streets of Cape Town. It actually did nothing to help boost the industry. So what, what could, if, if we just do that here, it's not really going to be competitive. Um, if we open, whatever, one thing if we have cameras brought in, you know, next year, is it going to actually create a competitive edge over what's going to be available in the rest of the world? You know, and that was the first time that the NFF realised that we weren't on the map, and they turned around and went, yeah, um, we don't really have an answer. So it's, it's, and what we've been pushing for months and months and months with these stakeholder meetings, and I know that they're getting to us, and I know that it seems to be, we seem to be discussing the same thing over and over again. We're not, we're trying to get clarity on these issues. But what's incredibly important is that the people in this industry really need to consolidate their efforts, become one voice, speak to the Durban Film Office, speak to the NFF, speak to the SABC, make demands. Make demands. Don't sit back and go, well, why did the police only come back to you? Call them up and say, well, what's here? So tell you, how much to answer? How much to answer? In the South African context, at least, are going to unlock anything from the SABC. They may be, they may be more approachable for international work. But again, one of the challenges then is are our, our, our producers at a level where they're able to put together pilots for international work? But at the end of the day, we don't know what to take them. So it's end up you see them selling on the street and then what goes. That's the way we try to make business. But no one is giving us this is going to be done. Yes. No, no one is giving us kids, you know, and telling us we started training ourselves. We started writing scripts. The problem is once you go out and look for just that leak funding, like you say, I mean fifty thousand, hundred thousand. The problem is that it looks like you just want funding, funding, funding. We don't want that. We've got our ideas to create new markets. All that you need is that just help us to start with the first move. And from there we'll finish. We're just going to care about our food. Much easier to deal with that than with the individual who comes and says, I want to do this. So the fact that you're working as clusters, and I think that part of the goal then is to grow that cluster so that KZN is functioning as a as an industry as industry cluster, an industry association. I don't know how many of you have managed to check out the vlog that I've been doing, which is the, again trying to get people using you know, just an online tool to bring people into one place with news and stories and press releases. And